match three on day four of the South Island Hockey Premiership. And we're out at Napunawai, which is just on the southern motorway, but only about five k's from the middle of Christchurch City. And we've got Burnside High School. So we've just had the Burnside High boys team go down to Otago 8-1. And now the Burnside girls up against James Hargis. There's the Burnside High team. Peyton Anderson, number two, watch for her. Wonderful athlete as well as being the third highest goal scorer at the South Island Secondary School Premiership. The Tiahu sisters and Amelie and Gabriella Cowell. A couple of pairs of sisters in the Burnside High. And Paris Hawthorne in goal for Burnside High today. So building quite nicely throughout the week, Burnside. Started off with a loss to one of the premier teams in uh, here, Villa Maria, and James Hargis. Well, I've got a very, very young side. Eight players, 15 or younger, including 12-year-old Madison Wilmhurst. So watch out for what she will have. In fact, she's wearing 14, but 12 years of age. Isn't that amazing? And two of the triplets, Farty girls, Charlie and Halley and their older sister Samantha. So plenty of families integrated, as we know, in hockey teams throughout. And Emma Kelly in goal for James Hargis. When you look at the results, one would suggest that she may come under quite a lot of pressure, the 14-year-old in goal for James Hargis. What do we know of them? That they have, um, probably like a couple of other schools, would like to have found the back of the net a bit more, James Hargis, but Burnside High, Really, they did bounce back from that loss to Villa Maria, Pat Bowick, and stunned competition frontrunners Rangi Ruru beat them 3-2 in a match, and they will still be buoyant about that, I suspect, Burnside High, coached by former Olympic and Commonwealth Games goalkeeper Scott Anderson. Absolutely. I think uh, that Burnside started off the week with, with, a, with a great um, match, and they would have been very excited by that. It set them up for the week, and they've continued to try and really, you know, emulate that again, so it's been excellent. They'll be excited by today's game and the opportunity to uh, to see if they can get more points on the board for their placing later in the in the games tomorrow. So watch for Freya Marshall, number five for Burnside as well. She's been integral getting that ball through the midfield. But I'm really looking forward to seeing Peyton Anderson. She has scored herself a scholarship to Boston University. Next year, all things going well, COVID and all of those things. Yes, that's very exciting for a young player, isn't it? And there's uh, a number of opportunities like that across New Zealand now. There's a large number of students go away to those uh, scholarship programs, and uh, it's always a, a great achievement to earn one. Sure is. Get to play plenty of the sport you love, but as well getting your education. Absolutely. Great idea. Teams just going through, getting final instruction under blue skies, warmed up, 20 to 1 local time, so the temperature getting up to around 12 degrees, which when you consider we're still the very early stages of spring, it's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. And the young umpires today, uh, Rosanna Porter and also Sarah Cox. So both young Canterbury umpires who are progressing really well and in fact uh, umpiring at premier level here in Christchurch and at tournaments through, throughout New Zealand. So uh, they should again manage the games really well today. Well, we've been fortunate actually in, in the two games that we've had already there hasn't been a lot of whistle. No it's been good. They're really working on the sort of advantage play and I think at this level it's great because if the game can keep flowing it helps the young players to you know stay progressing forward which is what we want to see lots of opportunities at the goal absolutely right and the players just acknowledging their supporters great that we can have them in these COVID days yes lining up Burnside in the white the green sliver on the addresses and James Hargis in the dark colour all set Teams just going through, touch the sticks, of course, no skin involved, which is good. <laughs> so careful these days, have to be. <coughs> A good 
win for Burnside yesterday over St Hilda's. At James Hargis, it will be all uphill for them, one would suspect. But it's great that they're here. That's the Burnside team on screen. Yes, I think they'll be feeling they've got still quite a lot to play for, really, and to do well in today. They've just seen their boys have a tough match, and uh, they'll be keen to, to, to improve on that. Hargis to start with position, going from right to left. Big school, James Hargis. It was over 2,000 pupils. Of course, they took in a lot of intermediate schools and enlarged it a few years back. But it's Burnside now threatening early on. Yes, they've had a, uh, when I was down there, actually, they've had a, have a, had a turf in the school, albeit that it was a mixed type of sports turf, you know, but they started getting more into hockey probably 10, 15 years ago now to get into it. So, you know, they've, been, they've built up to at least getting a team in those, these levels, so it's great. It's fantastic. Yeah. Had a sort of multi-purpose turf in the school, but at least it enabled them to start doing more with, her, with their hockey. Mm. That's the beauty, isn't it, of an all-weather surface that mm. you can play in all weathers not controlled by the quality of the grass or the <laughs> yes. puddles. Or having to travel, you know, yes. to one all the time, which is also helpful. Good strong drive up that right flank that will always help get the ball out of danger zone. A sort of slip movement there by the dribbling player. Carried the ball well. Well, a Sydney show and plenty of intent. Yep. And 50 50 ball goes the Hargis way. So, long corner for James Hargis. Making the first foray into the attack, so they're certainly out here with some intent this morning. Good, nice little neat reverse stick in. There's plenty of players, it's quite congested area to make something of it. Nice trap, nice work. Oh, Peter yes. Tigona, not five. Oh, the defence not back five from the free hit given. Yes, and a good fair early decision by the umpire to tidy that up straight away in the game. Otherwise it goes on and on, so good call. Right, so what can they conjure up? Yes, so uh, see how well they inject this ball out from the back line and uh, how they're setting up at the top of the circle. Looks like we've got a bracket there. No, stick stopping. Just individually stopping, I think. Emma Hewitt wearing shirt number 18. Might get the layoff. She does. Push towards goal. And in the end, little position will stay with James Hargis, although long corner. Certainly pushed up in numbers. Yes. A good ball out left. She's got Peyton Anderson running in the middle. Strikers at two. Now popped out to the left. Good cover. Ella McLeod, 14 for Burnside. Unfortunately, straight into the circle from the free hit. So, losing possession. So 
Hargis taking it out of the back again. Oh. A sloppy receive there. Oh, a lot of space in that 22, Pat. He yes. managed to find some. Alatiaho looking pretty good with the ball at the end of her stick. She had a couple of nice little runs. Free hit to Burnside High. Taking it back to five. Just having trouble piercing that. Struggling to work it out of the defence. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> piercing that wall that James Hargis are putting up so well. And certainly for James Hargis at the back, Emma Hewitt is organising and leading the defence as well as being a key part of their bracket up at penalty corner time. But untidy. Yeah, clumsy tackle from behind there. It's a nice ball into space and beautifully received. And pushed forward too. Lovely ball. So long. So Burnside at the top of the 22. Touch should be a long corner for Burnside. Both teams just searching just to put their, their structure in place. Oh, that's nice work. Delivered in. Played in very small confined areas so far, just looking to inject a bit of pace for Burnside. Charlotte Lambie, number 11, she's had a couple of good runs. And Rebecca Coulson now with the ball. It's a bit messy. Yes, it's a little bit tight and they're not quite relaxed about putting the ball back and around. See, so there's absolutely no option out to the right at the moment. Look at all the players just arrived. Right just looking left. Yeah. All on the left side or just to the left of the midfield. It makes it very difficult to get the ball out. It's better. Stretch it out. Yeah, Burnside trying to open them up. Yep. Oh, it's a good ball. Into space. It's amazing what happens when it goes into space. Nice touch too. Ella McLeod and free hit to the defence. Yes. Bit of a, just a desperate lunge of the stick there, catching the, the stick of the defender. So, hit out. Oh, nice drive. Upfield. No backing arounds <laughs> here. No, they've got a lot of reliance on just a little bit of a hit and hope there. But uh, it's quite an interesting structure, just trying to work out what they're looking to do here. Quite tight in the top of the circle and just hanging three or four players around that area. You can see them um, obviously wanting to block Burnside, getting in at the top of the circle at least, and to make them force them wide. But it's not helping them if they don't spread out when they want to clear the ball. So Hargis just need to think about how they're going to get this ball out of their defence. I like the way they challenge. They're not going to give Boonsot any free time on the ball. No. Uh, opting for the right side. Oh, that might have come up off Boonsot there, yep. so they get it back. This is where you need someone steaming up that left side to pick up the pass. That she'd already blown a whistle, so they kind of had to go back yes, and take it. Need to go back and take what yep. looks like a, a stop and go free yep. hit. Mm -hmm. Trying to inject a bit of momentum, Burnside High. 
Nice trap. Nice little touch, left to right. Rebecca Coulson with the ball. And that circle. Looking for a foot. Yeah, they're looking for a foot. They've got a few defenders in there, Hargis. They're certainly keeping, uh, keeping it tight and trying to prevent Burnside getting in easily. That clearance wasn't strong enough in this Smart. reverse shot. And oh, just Ooh. in the wrong place for Burnside. They were trying to get on the goalkeeper's pads, but succeeded in catching it in the back of the foot. Grace Thompson. And they're pouring on the pressure now, Burnside. Oh, beautiful ball. Just needed someone to run hard lucky onto it there, I think, but she uh, played the advantage, so she hasn't brought it back, the umpire, which is fair enough. Now, what can Coulson do with it this time? And are pretty stoic in defence, aren't they, James yes, Hargis? They are. So that's uh, Emma Hewitt at the back, hitting the ball out of defence. She's... Uh, a little bit intent on just wanting to try and hit it through the players. So she needs, they need to work out how they're going to go round the defense, that screen that they've got there. For Quite a hard game to umpire, I think, because of the number of position turnovers and the, the number of congested spaces. That's good. Yes. Burnside trying hard to open it up, I think, and pull out the, the James Hargis defenders. So there's a bit more space to work from. Another t opportunity around the circle here. I tell you what, you know, they're looking at um, Peyton Anderson they are really looking marking her very closely yes, there's there's someone there. on her all the time and that quite right because she is the third highest goal scorer number two for Burnside and a PC off the foot as it entered the circle there ah, this is PC time so let's watch for Peyton Anderson number two for Burnside at the top of the circle have a good set up here I think they have a stick stopper so they're going to have a, a shot at the goal from the stick stop number three which from Burnside is um, Ella Tiaho she's stopping and the striker Here's and Anderson there catches the body of the runner yep. Looks Samantha like Faiati she's got a pretty tidy uh, Almost drag flick coming yep. in from the top of the circle. Oh, she's got the long levers, isn't she? she has, I mean, yes. athletically, yeah. she's got all the bits biomechanically that you need to be a fabulous drag flick exponent. And here she comes again. Not tidy at the top from Tiaho. Yeah. But they've uh, mopped it up, have Hargis. Absorbed that pressure. Free hit where the foot was, yes. That's it. Oh, that should be a corner. Yep. Just a little bit of third party obstruction. Ball coming through. Another opportunity for Peyton to have a go here. Yeah, well, she, of her five goals, she scored three of them from the penalty corner bracket. Potent. Let's see what they can do now. Anderson again. That's no. beautiful. That had a lot more power, didn't it? Yes, yeah, a pretty clean drag and a, and a good throw. So she took the ball well. Well stopped, of course. That's a really important part of that whole technique is the stop. If it's good and accurate. Here it comes out from the back line. Seeing it again. Good, accurate power. Hit out. Good drag. Cleanly through into the net. Yeah, powerful. Powerful. Into good space. And it looked well drilled, didn't it? It did look well drilled. As you'd expect. 
from a former Olympian now coach. Yes, and our goalkeeper to, to boot, so yes. they understand those phases of the game very much. Yep. Scott Anderson. I think just the Hargis girls just need to be a little bit lower over the ball at times. They're just a little bit upright and so too easily knocked off the ball in this sense in the tackles. Quite like how they keep working hard though and keep contesting Hargis. They may be a little outgunned. Oh, look at this. Anderson again gets the shot away. Goalkeeper does well. Came out and followed the ball. And that is first quarter finished. Yeah, that hanging in there quickly. only just, I think, James Hargis and an expert penalty corner push, drag, flick, call it what you will, from Peyton Anderson is the difference at this stage. Burnside high one, James Hargis nil. Players coming out for the second quarter. You can see that the team wearing white boon so high, trying to get their game, their structure, their pace, the momentum into the game. But they're coming up against a very determined James Hargis. Buzzer goes. It's almost like Hargis are waiting for Burnside to take the game to them and yes, need to initiate a bit more. Oh, that's a good description, actually, Leslie. That they're just um, hesitant about where they perhaps want to put the ball and they wait to see what's going to happen. Again, Emma Hewitt, the skipper, is a key defender for James Hargist. One nil through a Peyton Anderson penalty corner. And they're working hard, Hargis. They're all back in the circle, so they're determined to prevent the, the opportunities. That'll be Burnside ball. So they're continuing to press. There's only the Burnside goalkeeper in her half. The rest are over halfway, as you'd expect. And you're hot on attack. There's no fluidity yet in the game. A lot of whistle because the ball's hitting the feet trying to get some energy and momentum, Burnside. But as we mentioned in the James Hargis, they are a very young side, eight players, 15 or younger. 
Yes, it is young. It's, it's quite a difference, isn't it, between the sort of 15 and nearly 18-year-olds in some cases, 17s and 18s, or 17s and nearly 18s, and those year 13 players. It does make quite a difference. But you're getting some good skill work. Yeah. As we saw on the Burnside High, while they were, the boys were outgunned by Otago boys, there was still some very promising work in the Burnside High youngsters coming through the four year nines. So it's been caught up in that right pocket, Burnside, and now Hewitt will be looking to get the ball upfield and relieve that pressure. But they can't do so. Marshall gets the ball away. Ooh, slipped by everybody on that occasion. Yes, there's definitely um, a lot of work being done. You can see the young Haggis players, that they're, they're at least they're doing their job. They're being told to pick up man-to-man -man and they're marking tightly. So that's, you know, that's good learning and they're really working at that task. And that's why it's so closed up because Burnside's struggling to, to get through um, those one-on-one -on -one defenders. Good space, it needs to go out one more, there it is. Always looks good. Use the space. Up the flank. Coulson again, number 10 for Burnside. Gets into good body positions with the ball. And offloads. Alatiaho. Trying to take the free hits quickly. Again into space and back into the close confines of all those dark uniforms. <laughs> I think the only time we've come out of the defensive 22 of the James Hargis area is when Burnside have taken it back and around to try and find some space on the right. Yes, here they come again. Oops, well defended again. See, so what they're saying, what James Hargis is saying, is that you come on a one-on-one, -on -one, we're going to tackle you. Yeah, exactly. You've got to put a couple of passes together, Burnside. Yes, and at this stage, it's been a reasonably successful ploy for them. They're working hard just to take on their own player. And there again, the yep. rest of the... Strong defender. It's good stuff. Now they get a chance to mount another attack. Burnside, Coulson. He has got some skill, and we've seen it. It's matches like this that you have to learn to adapt in a different kind of way. Yes, you do. You have to be patient and do what Burnside are trying to do. Pull the ball out. They could just, instead of going all the way there now, they could even come back now, because it's a good time when you're swinging the defence across, then they suddenly come back again and go down the space that's been left. But uh, that's, you know, that's something they'll find as they go along that they'll probably try to do. And it's all about the speed of the ball as well. When yes. you are trying to get, use the sides and use the space, it's how quickly you can get the ball from one side to the other. Strength, technique... Good, seeing Hargis getting into the other half and having a go now. Oh, well dispossessed. Now an opportunity. Oh. Just when it has to be a perfect <laughs> trap. <laughs> As you can see with, with Hargis, that they're always keeping three or four people in, you know, in behind the ball, which is quite restrictive to what they have up front to play with. So less numbers going into attack which makes it much harder of course so now Hargis into their attacking 22 they look goalwards they just needed to get a little touch on the stick
Coulson for Burnside. Yeah, Hargis, they're just getting those touches in at the right time. They're competitive. Yeah, they are. They're, they're not going to give anything away, are they? Giving it every spoil. A forward momentum. Certainly looking to keep the ball out into the width of the field, away from the danger area. Now, near the goal. Oh, just a communication breakdown between the field player and the goalkeeper. Yeah, it was well rescued then by a couple of sound defending players. Just this is such a war of attrition just, isn't it, yes, between it these is. two sides. So this is the moments they need to start really getting that ball away from this angle, if we can. But they're not looking there at the moment. They're still trying to go down this left-hand pocket. Oh, well, there's Hewitt at the end to the yeah. rescue for James Hargis. But Coulson for Burnside. And they can't be getting puffed because they're not doing a lot of rough running. <laughs> no. It's in the very small area of the field. Now Tiaho delivers into that circle. Can they find a foot? And they scramble it away again. Gutsy stuff from James Hargis. <laughs> Absolutely fighting in there. <laughs> now into the circle. The exit has to be a bit squarer than that, doesn't it? In order to relieve the pressure. But however, they have got the ball out and Emma Hewitt. Everybody comes back and works. Always two Hargis players around the lone ball carrier. Absolutely, and you can see them all are doing their job well because they're sliding across in time of the ball and just running across and keep making sure that all the channels are shut down. So continue to make it really hard for Burnside to, to get through even though they have all the possession. So they're, they're well drilled in their defensive unit in terms of how they want to play. And whilst it is a very defensive game they're playing, they're doing it very well. They certainly are. Makes for a bit of a fragmented watch, but it's absorbing <laughs> nonetheless. Yes, well, the next step is that you know they need to they'll need to work out how they transition then from being very defensive to then when they win the ball, how do we get it out and start to make some attack with it? Exactly. Well, that's just a whole another learning phase. Well, really. that's nice skill. Good, good steal there. Maya O'Connor, doing some lovely. Now we've got a runner up front with the ball. Charlie Fayette. One part of the triplets. Yes, There's only the two position. of them here and their older sister. She is the goal scorer for James Hargis. It's a foot there, free hit outside. Still got it. Burnside appealing for something there. I couldn't quite see what that was, but obviously Getting a it. foot. Yep. Got the ball. Got the nice just hit it away, really. This is it. Swing and a miss. Oh, yep. Unfortunately, that's a free hit in this game now. Yep. Anywhere. It used to just appear to be in the circle, but now it's all around the pitch, which is a good safety mechanism. Oh, good scrap here for position yeah. between these two. Good use of the reach there. Yep. I always love seeing who comes out on top when you're contesting for 50-50 position. Yeah. <laughs> yes, she was a tall girl coming in from the, uh, running along the left, uh, right flank and she, uh, she used to reach really well then to try and progress the ball. Bright sunshine. Here at Napuna White. In Christchurch. Well, 
Haggis just seemed to be happy to put the ball out of the pitch, but um, I think they're in a position sometimes when they could use the possession they have. Oh, that's lovely skills. And just ran out of a bit of room. Long corner for Burnside. Good quick use of the left to right across. Reverse from Anderson. You can just get the feeling that Burnside players are trying to inject something, wanting something to happen, trying to manufacture it. It's Maya Tiao, or the other sister of Ella. Well positioned again in front of that passing line. Just picking it up, putting it out again. Coulson for Burnside. Delivers the ball. Gets halfway, half pie cut off. So that's another uh, Fahete, isn't it? Samantha? Yes, it's the, the older sister. She's such a yep. strong playing such a strong role in the defence there. She's really one of the ones cleaning up at the back. Reading it, doesn't she? Yes, she's really in the right places all the time. Reading the game and here's a chance. Of course, in the James Hargis, as we mentioned, two of the triplets, the Fahertes and their older sister, and they're all involved in other sports as well. Very good tennis players, very good cross-country runners. That's good, isn't it? Yep. That they're playing a number of sports. I think it's a great thing to be have that variety and and not be just totally involved in one. Mm -hmm. It's excellent. What does it balance as best? Yeah, that's right. And yep. of course, it, it creates a whole lot of other attributes like agility and you know speed off the mark. Different things when you play in a different levels of uh, different types of sports like that. So, it gives them skills for each one of the sports they play. Really. Scott Anderson, the coach of Burnside, now cajoling his team to get up the field, push up, be an option. This is Peyton Anderson driving towards the goal and can't quite unleash the shot. She's blocked and she'll get the penalty corner and we've already seen how good she is at penalty corner time. Very, very good. Six goals so far this week and the only goal in this match so far to Peyton Anderson, number two. And a well practiced and well drilled uh, you know, penalty corner that they have, so yep. always an opportunity to give her time to put the ball in the net. So, see what happens this time. Pushing all the players up to the 22 line, our Burnside, Tiaho traps, and it goes and this it goes. time the other side of the goalkeeper. So, to the right side for the first goal, to the left side for the second. 2 0 Burnside, and that is the end. Oh, right on time. It's a half, great time to score a second. It is right on time. Even if the Hooter had gone, they would have had to have played it out anyway. So we go to the half-time break. They've had to work hard, have Burnside high, but they are 2-0 ahead of a very gutsy James Hargis. Before we uh, start into the third quarter, let's have a look at the competition courtesy of Hockey New Zealand.
I used to go and watch his games. Now the player's just coming back out on to Napunawai number one. And they've swapped ends. So Burnside High wearing the white. And they will go right to left. And James Hargis from Invercargill wearing the black and red with a little bit of yellow in there as well. A good touch finder early on for Burnside. It'll mean that James Hargis have to exit it out of their left side defence, Emma Hewitt. Cut off. I have the feeling that the, the half-time talk for Burnside may have dealt a lot with the fact that uh, Hargis are in fact basically only leaving, uh, delivering outside the left, out of the left uh, side defence and that they'll be really looking to block it off and switch quickly and then try and attack the circle so interesting to see. Coulson, she's looked good with the ball for Burnside out on the right flank, makes really good progress up that right flank, again gets interrupted, we've talked about it, James Hargis, they have stuck to their guns and poked and prodded and tackled everything that's come their way but they <coughs> have not Excuse been able me. to prevent penalty corners and this is where they're lethal Burnside through Peyton Anderson an expert drag out very accurate trap usually by Ella Tiaho and you all need those first two components in order for Anderson to get the shot away at the top Perfect again at the top. This time the layoff. Clever. Keeping everyone guessing. Another corner. <laughs> Got to have variations, Pat. Absolutely. It was a good layoff. She just let the ball run off the face of her stick instead of trapping it well. So that was unfortunate because she had plenty of time, really, to have got the shot away. They may or may not try it again. We'll see. That's the beauty of it, isn't it? It's a guessing game as to what they're going to use. I mean, it's, they've scored two through... Anderson, here she comes again. It's again the layoff. Back to Anderson. Shot away. And another penalty corner. Might have hit Hewitt, did it? It would be painful if it did. Yeah, it was a good in and out. So it went out and came back in for her, for Peyton to have a, a shot. So the instructions from the sideline, a little glance towards the coaching box. Anderson to a dad, Scott. Oh, we haven't seen that happen much, have we? Break down at the top. So just just along this time. So James Hargis have survived a little battery there. Gabriella Cal wearing number nine for Burnside. Marshall. The interesting thing there is if they'd gone, instead of going back into the inner roll, if it had gone out wide, would have stretched, brought out the defence a bit more. Yes, absolutely. So easy from up here. Yep. And again, they, they gave it to the player who was quite heavily marked, and the Hargis just got the touch onto the foot, and that yep. was it. So now they're literally down the other end already. Lambie well, well, has the ball for Burnside. Clever stick work. We've seen her in action in the first half and has been good. Accurate. Just trying to make us find some space. And this time, Faherty deemed to deliberately impeded Lambie. So the penalty corner has been called. She's a very quick young player, though, isn't she? Mm. She gets across and attacks very quickly. Charlotte Lambie. He just gets his stick into the middle of it and cre creates a bit of havoc for them. 15 years of age. So here's another opportunity. The double bracket still down. Yep. Oh, that's 
a very good save. Great save. Yep. Here's a chance. Oh, that's very good defending from James Hargis. Big high five. Excellent save by Emma Kelly in the goal. She, she read it well. That was travelling too, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Good shot. Owens offloads to Marshall. They've been good round the back, Burnside. Yeah, there's more movement in the game. They don't make a lot of rolling subs, James Hargis. Sort of saved again. Unfortunately, just a little bit high right in front of the uh, Burnside player coming into the attack, so earns him a penalty corner. But it was well saved, so it's another opportunity for Hargis to keep them out. Anderson again, just a slight miss this time. Can't always get it. But they've still got the ball, more importantly, Burnside. Oh, this will be card for the hack. Yep, that's fair enough. Yeah, got to be a bit tidy around the tackling area than catching the opponent's stick halfway up. So they're a very good defender down at the moment, Hargis. And another penalty corner, so... Just a little bit of anxiety with that stick tackle now. And yep. I think uh, it will be pulled up if it continues. So the may, we may see a few penalty corners in this quarter. So again, they're still sitting down with two brackets. Not unusual that they'd go to Peyton Anderson, but it'd be interesting to see if it goes to the outside bracket. Nope. Oh, this time the layoff again. And the shot at goal too oh, high. Too high. No, it won't count. First shot at goal has to be well below that black board in the back of the goal. Oh, that you know that there's a outlet ball. Then is you know a pretty simple thing to fix up. Just missed the first trap. Remember they're, they're very good. Samantha Faherty defended down. She's got a green on her at the moment, so she's off for another minute and a bit. But she's been very good in that deep defence for James Hargist. Yes, she absolutely has. I think uh, yeah. along with uh, Emma Hewitt, the captain, nice space being found here. Shot at goal. Lovely oh, save off the so. stick. 14-year-old yeah. in goal. Emma Kelly doing a grand job following the line of the ball. Corner of the danger, ball being popped up in the air. Certainly getting more rewards now, aren't they, Burnside? Yes, they are. They're putting a lot of pressure on at the moment. Um, of course, the uh, Hargis now have had one of their defenders off, so they're having to substitute someone else in to run. It's a most courageous position, isn't it, running out at penalty corner time defensively. Double layoff. Oh, Gee, that'll be a free hit. hit. It's what pressure does, isn't it? It does, yes. Even for someone who's, you know, pretty competent at what she does in there, uh, it can make those mistakes. So it'll be interesting now to see where this ball goes. Going to go out towards the right a bit more. So we've had so much ball go on their left side. She needed support of the teammates. Oh. 
Marshall asking for it in the middle. Gets it out into the oh, goal area. Again. More space out there on the right. But they're doing well. Being so high 2-0 ahead. Back to a full complement and deep defence. Corner. Yes, one of those. Oh, thank you. One of those over the back tackles, so that uh, where the stick comes from the back over the top of the of the ball carrier stick and prevents any forward progression. Really, I guess so. That's a major need for the penalty there. Looking like it's coming to the standard bracket at the moment. It's interesting, isn't it? Because she stands a bit deeper, does Peyton Anderson when she's having the drag flick. There it is again. Good save at the pads. Takes a long time to perfect that. You have to get your timing right, your steps right. The ball has to be exactly in the right place. And then have the physical attributes to have the power and the core body strength to go through with it. Number two. Certainly is very tough on the hips. A subterfuge at the top. Got to try it. No yeah. harm in trying. Yes, quite an effective change that could have been actually. But mm -hmm. again, just a little bit of. It's loose. good that they've got the variations. Yeah, just, yeah, just a little bit of loose uh, receiving again, but just. Uh, she's uh, a good. Uh, she's working hard, the leader, and Emma Hewitt. Yes. She's working hard to try and. And talking a lot and directing. Mm. It's very, you know, when you're under this much pressure and not able to have the amount of attacks that you'd want to be able to sustain the amount of defending that they're doing is admirable. And for Burnside, it's such a learning thing too to be able to get around us. How to deal with it is yes. exactly right. It's a great Stoic. learning thing for them to have to try and work out. It's like a puzzle. Yeah, you have to work out what are we going to what are we going to do, and it's being about more patience to get the ball. Just go back and go back and around. Good advantage. Pull them out. Good advantage, and then as a result, no whistle. And look at that, two passes because of the good advantage from the referee, the umpires. Yes. It hit the uh, James Hargis player, rolled on to Burnside, so no need to blow the whistle. Can hear Scott Anderson. Yes, calling his players. Yep. Go, go. That was a fairly tough call there, I think, for a penalty corner. Well, they're becoming very good at defending them, aren't they? Yes, they are. They've asked the question. Yeah. I think fairly. It's good, good that chance they can that they might get this one, isn't yeah. it? For yes. all the umpires to have the confidence to go to each other and say, well, look, this is the challenge I've had. What did you see? Yes, because they work together. That's how umpiring in hockey works. Is you yep. know that diagonal across the uh, the field that they work together, oh, yep. and, and they've uh, reversed it because yes, of it. So I good, good was, challenge. I felt that there was no foot in there, so I yep. think that was a, a good challenge. And they were pretty clear about it. The four of them around the ball, the four defenders that were around the ball, all seemed fairly confident. Yep. So good question, good yep. captaincy to ask that question. Because for them, it's you know, penalty corner is pretty dangerous, isn't it? It is, so and done without any threat, really. You yeah. know, no mouthing off or anything like no, that to just a, the umpire. Just a reasonable question. Yep. And well, good not that we saw anyway. Yep. But good umpiring also from Sarah to be able to take Help. that and 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 change her decision. Yes. That's a mature umpiring, so it's very good. Oh, it is. It's a gutsy call. Yep. Oh, the drive oh, downfield. That'll release the pressure. Yes. <laughs> Good. Handy. We just need to get some attackers up into the attack yeah. so we can do something with the ball. Well, that's the next stage, isn't it, of developing this James Hargis team with such young players in there. Yes, it's showing quite a bit, really, but I think, you know, they'll be learning every moment in this game. And, and learning, coming up to Christchurch for this tournament, what they can do. Yes. 
Interesting now to see Burns, so they've thrown a couple of players really quite high and they're trying to stretch them out a bit more, create more uh, issues for James Hargist. I well, think that's we'll three quarters gone, mm. and again, Burnside profit. They both teams will run off, but it is 2 0, mm. courtesy of Peyton Anderson at PC time over James Hargis in the sunshine at Napunawai. Last round robin match of both these sides before they hit the playoffs. Ben side 2-0 up against James Hargist. We're not surprised Burnside immediately on to attack. Free hit. Mm, good tackle. Again. Oh, look at that. Just Clean and tidy. Yeah. yeah. Again, learned so much from the contest at the 50-50 ball. Much more spread out now. Burns nice. have thrown a couple of people right up high, so they're trying to Makes a cause them a problem there. Yeah, Grace Thompson's seagulling up high. And Anderson goes back, tries to go through three. Beautiful stick work, gets it shot away. Oh, what a save! Glove save. Outstanding save. Emma Kelly. Gee, and it had some punch with the hit too, didn't it? It certainly did, and certainly saw some great skills there from uh, Peyton Anderson as she came into the circle and, and beat three players as she weaved her way through to get that shot. She comes again. Uh. They've spoiled a lot, haven't they, James Hargis? Spoiled what Boone said I'm trying to put on. Through a great eye, being able to tackle and being courageous. Out it comes again. Oh, it's straight to the player, though. Just couldn't quite get out of the way of it and hit the foot. So another penalty corner for the start of the last quarter. It's pretty efficient, isn't it, what they're... Yes. The, the corner, they've worked hard at it. Important phase of the game for them. Yep, it is. When you've got a drag flicker as they have, you want to make full use of it. And the more that you can practice it in, in game situations, the better you're going to become of it. Mm. Oh. First shot. Oh, nearly because they had player in the right place to get a wee stick deflection. Freya Marshall was a player up there trying to 
It's always a courageous position as well. Anybody else sitting on that se seven yard spot. It absolutely is. The ball crashing towards you without <laughs> a lot of protection. Good effort, a little give and go there, and they're working the ball out differently instead of trying to drive it from the back. So it's excellent. Yes, they got the ball off that one. was made by Freya Marshall. It's where it needed to go. And it kind of needs to go one more. That's beautiful. Oh, so many players in a small area. Another PC. Well, they've certainly had a bit of practice of them. Certainly have. So we can... Perhaps expect another result shortly. Are they all important face masks for the defenders? I need to have them on. And especially the player running directly out, although they're not running the line. Anderson this time. No, they want the corner again. They think it came off the runner. Appealing for the foot. Yeah, checking it again. Line corner. Anderson is allowed to challenge. She is the skipper for Burnside. Oh, it's a good hit, isn't it? It's a great hit. She's going to get this if she wants to. Yeah. Lovely skills from Anderson. Oh, oh and that's unfortunate too. Someone yes. just got hit with the, the follow through of the stick. Yeah, Got to be so careful because it was that they were actually moving at pace, and you don't want any concussion issues here. No, it was just one of those where she t turned and. That was just a natural sort of collision, yes, really. Yes, the gives them. Mm. She's carrying on. Cuts his stuff. Good on them. It's a Hargis ball, is it? Yes. Certainly plenty of instructions coming Hargis's way. They've just managed to continue to frustrate Burnside, haven't they? Yes, they have. They've yes. worked hard in their own uh, structure, in their own way. They have, definitely, and they've stuck to it. They've not given up. No, they've really done very well in, their, in that sense. You think of how many penalty corners they've defended. Yes. There it is again. They've kept, got the ball back. By my reckoning, they've had 13 penalty corners. Yeah, lone ranger with the ball. Three Burnside players, and she's still got it. A little foot she's lucky to get that one, but anyway, 
Oops. <laughs> Fortune f favours the brave. Onto the foot. Nice little left to right. That always yeah. works, doesn't it? It does. Put it in there. Oh, yes. Oh, of, Lucky to get away lean. with that. Bit of a lean on the player there. Yeah. And Oop. also the stick hack. So you've got to be consistent. Yeah. Anyway, on we go. It's a bit more open. And Burnside will enjoy that. So push the player right up high into the circle and trying to spread out that crowded defence. Big drive into the circle. Who's going to get on the end of it? Ooh, his chance. Ooh. <laughs> They've got great eyes. <laughs> that was Samantha Faherty that time. The field player in front of the goalkeeper swept one away. Won it again. Look. And out they come. Oh, hard, hard luck there. Just yeah. caught the foot on the sweeping tackle. Oh, that's in. Did it, did it get no, a little touch? No. Didn't touch the attacker, no. I don't think. Now, I have another conferral. Because I'm pretty sure that Ella McLeod thinks that she got a touch for Burnside. Got one in close into the goal, did they? I think she thinks she did. They're not running too far back to halfway, are they? So... They're going to have a corner because it came off the James Hargis player right. close by the goal. Very That's good. what I thought might have happened rather than a touch by Birdside. Yep. So. Oh, they're appealing but for the... The decision had to be a corner or yes. a goal, really. Mm. Yeah. So it's fine. Again, good changing of decisions where necessary. Straight at note. And that hit the backboard. It might have been up in the air a bit. The frustration of Anderson comes through and she drills home. Goal number three, hat trick for her. And eight goals for the tournament. Eight goals for Peyton yes. Anderson. And she was happy with that. Did you see the reaction? Yes, it was a good reaction. It yes. was a good change of, uh, of option as it well, was. I think, because. Uh, she really put a little bit of something extra into that shot. Oh, nice goal, left to right. Still searching for more Burnside. Oh, just missed a touch. Emma Hewitt. She's looking to drive that ball well down the field and get some pressure out of their defence. Yep, well, I'll tell you what, the She's day they link up. With the front runners, they're going to be potent, aren't they? <laughs> yes, they're going to be very good. Gabriella Cowell and Freya Marshall. In around the back. Yeah, looks good. Working up into the space. all that space all of a sudden. Charlotte Lambie has the ball for Burnside. Just got cut down. They've got some very sound runners with the ball in Burnside, so they have good skills. Oh, okay. We've had a penalty corner hung on them from outside the circle, which can happen if it's deemed deliberate. Yes, it was a bit of a comeback onto the ball again, a back tackle. That, although there was another defender there, it probably wasn't quite necessary to have given that away, really. 
but uh, it happened. Quite a fair call. So two and a half minutes left in the match. Can she make it four? Peyton Anderson. She thumped home the last goal. Direct shot. Hit. Don't worry about the drag flip when you can hit like that. And the layoff this time. In the long corner. Great tackle. They're still hanging in there, James Hargis, don't they? They're still. Yes. They've got. They're pretty sound in that one-on-one -on -one play. They certainly know how to just put their stick in the road and make sure that they keep them out. Another save by the keeper. She's been worth a few today, hasn't she? I'll say. Emma Kelly. It's a great tackle. A really good eye to be able to do that. Hannah Corbett for James Hargist. Oh, good call out of the fence there. Player coming forward, called obviously because the player going back just left it for her. And they came away again with a free hit. Still going. Yep, Still nice going. twist and turn. Yeah. And that is the end of the match. Just as James Hargis find a little bit of attacking space up the left. But it is Burnside High who have maintained their desire to win this game. They have taken the match over James Hargis by 3-0.